So I think I am going to wear Speedos today. This isn't water in my ear. Thank you for being honest. I've just been to the cruising spot. Like that white drawer here? Yeah. yeah. Bum, bum, bum. today feeling the way I always do oh, oh, oh hungry for something that I can't eat that I hear that beat Hey sexy people, I have just woken up and you know what, hell's frozen over because I've decided to make a YouTube video. So what have I been up to since not being on YouTube? Well, I've been making a lot of TikToks, I've been making a lot of content about bisexuality and loving yourself. I've been on Instagram. I actually made a video for YouTube in February, which was reacting to um, the Sex and the City episode where Carrie dates a bisexual guy. But it got banned. So that was annoying. And I think from then I was just a little bit like to YouTube, but now I'm like, I miss my YouTube peeps. So yeah, I'm back. It's a really, really nice day in London today. It's gonna to be around 27. So me and my bestie Daniel are gonna go sunbathing. It's gonna be really gay. It's gonna be like a self-love, self-care vlog kind of video. I don't know what's gonna go down, but I'm gonna take you along the way. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Mwah. It was actually so funny because at New Year, I was just joking around being a fucking idiot and I took a bite because one of the leaves and the stems fell off and I took a bite out of it. And my best friend who I live with was like, you do know cats and babies aren't allowed to be near that plant because it's poisonous. I was like, what? Why did my mouth start burning? Why did I have to run to the toilet, take an antihistamine and wash my mouth out? And why was it stinging for a few hours after? Yeah. So this little girl used to be in the window, but now she is by the disco ball. This baby, I'm so proud of. She is literally back from the dead. She had literally no leaves a few months ago. And now look at all this new growth. Honestly. Complimenti. I love my baby. I grew her from a cut in. She is thriving and Another survivor of mine, you know, she was literally, I put her in the wrong place with not enough light and now there's so many stalks growing up here, like a cute little baby one. So I've just risen my kundalini and meditated in the park and I feel so good. These past few months I've been really prioritizing my happiness and my outlook on life has completely changed. I think that freedom, love and expression is the most important thing. And if you're happy within your life, that's all that matters. Money doesn't equate happiness. That job, that perfect job won't make you happy. You are a sovereign spiritual being, having a human experience, and you need to claim that happiness for yourself. So I think I am going to wear Speedos today.
Okay, what's in my bag challenge? So first off we have my glasses, because I can't read without my glasses. Next up we have my journal, because I might want to write some stuff. This is a book I aspire to start, but never actually started. This is a sex toy I have for Daniel on my AirPods phone, and SPF. Now, a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by these amazing herbs, Rose and Damiana, which are absolutely great if you like to go gardening. We're gonna be getting lit. Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. To start. You have the perfect card. Get scan it now. Gotta have the sparkling water. Oh, would you look at that? You made it to the men's pond. So it's actually really hot right now, but I'm here with Daniel. Hi. Hey. Me and Daniel were just talking about Wait, how <laughs> ourselves we feel with each other. Isn't that sweet? It's so sweet. Fucking out your back, so sweaty. So is your fucking pits. That's why I was like, oh my god. At least I'm wearing deodorant today, which is very rare for me. Very rare. Um, so how are you feeling about today? I'm feeling great. It's such a good day. Like, I just want to get tanned. And... Uh, do you think you'll be swimming today? No. Oh my god, why can't you go swimming though, Daniel? Do you want to know why? Why? So guys, <laughs> recently, <laughs> I just got a new tattoo. Yes. Please take a look. It is sick. It's pretty cool. Um, ooh, girl. Ooh. I might go in. You go in then. I might do. And I'm gonna lay for the men. Daniel, can you please give us a 360? <laughs> I mean... How bad is that? On a scale of one to 10, eight. <laughs> That's upsetting. Yeah. It's really important when you're sunbathing. <laughs> to use um, SPF. What SPF is that? So that is the and then... Is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. I'm about to put four on. <laughs> four? <laughs> four? <laughs> this is bad, guys. That's really bad. No, it's not. Yeah, you're right. Four's so fine. Why is it bad? I don't burn. It's a bit low. Babe. I'm Bulgarian. Oh yeah, you got a little skin, right? <laughs> You're spicy, right? <laughs> so spicy, babes. I brought it there last year. Like, if you ever see a wasp come over the way towards me, you'll uh -huh. literally fucking see me run. My Why? Son, I, just, I can't. Wasps <laughs> scare them. Like, that's my biggest fear. Don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. Apparently there's a muscle in men's feet which makes you orgasm. Really? Yeah. Well that's why people are into feet then I guess. But like if you press it you orgasm. But I don't know where it is. Oh my god girls, you'll never guess what. I've got fucking blisters and I from my fucking Dr. Martin sandals, babe. I weren't wearing socks. Oh my god, babe. Now I've got blisters. This is white claw raspberry. It is so delicious. It's so nutritious. And it's going to leave you feeling flirty and dirty. Dirty. Can you put some in my back? Yeah. Thanks. As long as you put some mine. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh. When you bought the fucking Star Wars mask out, <laughs> what's it called again? Face gym. Face gym. I c oh, yeah, it was a moment. One of my straight friends said to me, "Okay, daddy," and it turned me on a little bit. Did you actually? Like low key, not really, but daddy issues. Daddy issues. I think we want daddy issues. To be honest. Don't you agree? Yeah, I think we all do. Sorry, I'm trying to dry this. The sweat. Yeah. So we made it. We're in the faggot section. In front of the men's ponds. Where a lot of um, gay people hang out. Yeah. 
uh, apparently the gays like the gays hang out here don't tell anyone the gays love it you can't say that we can we're gay Shh. talk by <laughs> Can't be bias don't exist. <laughs> bias don't exist. No, I'm joking. Well, you know, bias is in the LGBTQ umbrella. Is it? Yeah, of course. I didn't know that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Silver boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> I hear straight people. Wow. Over there. Behind me, behind me. Welcome. They're literally not welcome. My uncle hasn't replied to me. <gasps> Is he okay? I don't know, his sister died. His sister died. Okay, well we're gonna cut that. <laughs> Do you want to kill this? No. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? I'm filming. It's hyper realism. <laughs> Everyone's horny. It's hard to not be horny when it's hard. It's hard. The voice, the voice thing. I think Don't I like that. thought that if I had, if I put on a deeper voice, then I would be like more respected by straight guys. But I think it just made them be scared of me because I just was always had a guard up all the time and wasn't myself. I think it's like code switching, really. Yeah in certain situations and maybe it's quite subconscious as well like maybe I do but don't even notice I mean for me like it's more of like a defensive sort of tactic like to survive yeah. out in the open world like I just like if I go to a pub I don't want to be hate crimed do you get me I don't want to be hate crimed I don't want to be attacked I don't want to be I don't know I just don't want to deal yeah. with drama I hate drama if I'm really close and comfortable with, with someone as well I start speaking in my head voice and yeah. it's like a higher voice and I remember I had so many issues because my voice didn't break till like I was a little bit older and I was like, I had a deep voice and like a higher voice and I kept speaking in the higher voice and then, I don't know, when I went to uni I like really tried to make my voice like deeper did and my know? ex, yeah, yeah my yeah, ex, yeah, 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 she said to me like, what she why are you making your voice deep and yeah, stupid? Yeah, why, why are you making like, it stupid and deep, yeah? yeah? Yeah, basically if you lower your voice now, yeah, it's self-hating. You think it's self-hating, yeah? Yeah, I do think it's self-hating. Yeah, you, you do, yeah? I think it's self-hating because, like, why can't you just speak in your normal voice and get respected? Like, you don't have to be speaking like this, performative. I don't know. People no, it need doesn't to just let to be, be like themselves that. and embrace themselves. They should. They, you know. They should, but I, I know that I'm going to go out, like, if I go to another pub and I get approached by some guy that looks like they're going to fucking beat me up. Baby, I'll protect you. No, you won't. You'll be, you'll be coming at them. No, you'll be, you'll be coming at them, like... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Leave it, yeah. I'd be like, oh, leave my boy alone. <laughs> leave my fucking boy alone. Shut the fuck up. You're yelling. But yeah, I think speak how you want to speak. And the more mis myself I've become and spoken, um, I feel like the more I do actually get respected and people warm to me because they're like, oh, Drew, he's the bisexual, he's the bisexual crazy guy. No. Rather than old oh, Drew, he's a little bit weird and closed off. No, Drew's a faggot crazy guy. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Oh yeah. You like that white claw? Mm. You like that white claw? That. You like that white claw, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Coming back from the fucking pond. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? What? You. What do you mean? <laughs> Why are you being like that? Why are you being like that? Oh my god. Oh my god. How was it? Yeah, it was fucking cold. Like, as soon as I got in the water, I started hyperventilating. I was like, <laughs> You're lying. We but you would have loved it. You would have loved it because it was low. Well, they weren't hot, they were old, but there was loads of naked people just like sitting there with their dicks out. Really? The, the reason I've got water in my ear is because I just went 
It's not actually water, sir. Let's be real. <laughs> let's be <laughs> let's be real. Let's be... <laughs> this isn't water in my ear. It's semen. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. I've just been to the cruising spot. Oh my god. <laughs> Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, this is an ad. It was £4.10 to get through. To get, well, I, bet, I bet they got through. In, I bet they got in, I can tell you that. Stop spilling my white claw. You gave it to me though. Yeah, I donated that white claw, charity work. <laughs> <laughs> Another guy, and he had a silver, a silver like chastity thing over the, just the head of his penis. Oh, it made me go funny. <laughs> I got used to the cold and I enjoyed it. You adjusted. And I did my front you call. You I did my mermaid and I didn't let the sea witch, witch get me. <laughs> oh, did you like the Blair Witch? I like the Blair Witch. <laughs> what did you like about it? I mean, I've seen it a long time ago. I haven't seen it recently. Uh -huh. I like the, the sort of like um, gorilla mode, um, homemade type vibe it gives. Yeah, know? I love that. I do love that. Yeah. Have you seen the second one, the sequel? <laughs> Oh, babe, she's dying over here. <coughs> Have you seen the second one? No, I haven't, no. <coughs> I've got nits again. So guys, this video is sponsored by Knit Seal. Now, if you do have fleas, ticks, <laughs> Knits. Be like us and get clean. I'm not clean. <laughs> yeah, we had a bit of a tiff, but we're we over did. it now. Are we? I don't know. I'm walking ahead, trying to at least. Well, I'm just like, you know what? Let's let bygones be bygones. It's like, I'm bi. Like, let's just let them be bygones. And I'm gay. So, like, at the end of the day, we're on the same side. Are we? Well, you know. I don't know. You're pitching for two sides, so. Really? Yeah, I'm he a director. Is. He is. Clearly, I know the shit. Uh, he knows exactly. his fucking shit on his Canon Mark III, right? Yeah, 5D Mark III. Yeah. So we <laughs> had. I need to take pictures in the toilet. So look what Daniel did in the bathroom. Who's who's hunky spunky was that, babe? You tell me. How's it smell? Great. Holy smokes! Would you check out that view? So we're just up here in this tree. We've just been gardening. Why are you sad, honey? Tree made me sad. <laughs> <laughs> he called me the F slur. <laughs> I wasn't lying though. Wow, not me being inspired by myself. <laughs> Balenciaga's check. Balenci's. <laughs> I need to wash them. <laughs> you need to wash a lot of things, babe. This first. Stop. I'm gonna fight you, bitch. You keep threatening to fight me. Yeah, that's and you another keep thing grabbing me. Up. Guys, this is Guys, another no, thing. Look, no, this, this is serious. No, this is he... serious. We had a domestic because he... he... No, listen. No, no, this... he... Don't take my man. We've been walking for days. <laughs> and everything's fucking up. And we've only got this much water left. There's a lot of crazy people out here that are rubbing themselves up against each other on the tree. <laughs> it's quite alarming, isn't it, Daniel? It's a bit alarming. But yeah. I'm actually kind of shook by it. I feel disgusted. <laughs> Cheers. And you need to cheers with looking at your eyes. You did that, but when people don't do that, I hate that. It really pisses me off. It's like you need to stare into my eyes when we cheers. Fish and chips is a British classic, and I think if I did go abroad, I would miss fish and chips. Daniel, when you lived in LA, what food or British things did you miss the most? I miss Savlon sausages. Savoy or Savlon? <laughs> Savlon's fucking lip cream. <laughs> Savoy. I miss a good Savoy sausage. Oh my god, look who we've run into. Come on, Matt. 
vaccinated. Let's go. You ready, Martin? Let's <laughs> ride. Let's ride. Oh my god, this is like, this is like, we've hooked up and we're laying in bed together. <laughs> blee blue blee blue! <laughs> oh, I'm literally sunbathing right now. So yeah, the reason I turn my camera on is to basically say thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to be doing more of these vlogs really frequently, so stay tuned. In the meantime, you can check out all my social media and subscribe for more. Ciao!